Opioid overdoses and deaths have been steadily increasing in B.C., especially over the past couple of months. According to a B.C. coroner service report, there were 175 suspected illicit drug toxicity deaths in July alone, which represents a 136% increase over the number of deaths seen in July of 2019. The number of illegal drug toxicity deaths in July equates to about 5.6 deaths per day. 68% of those dying were aged 19 to 49, and males accounted for 79% of deaths in 2020. Northern Health Medical Health Officer Raquel Kling says they've seen a sharp rise in overdoses and explains why the pandemic could be playing a role. There's a few reasons why we think that COVID-19 has had an impact. One of the first measures that was taken was all the borders closed, and that really interrupts uh, you know, drug routes and where drugs come from. And it, it's possible that uh, local people might be uh, being creative in how to create drugs, which has led to a more toxic drug supply. The guidance for COVID-19 is to isolate, to stay away from other people, and that's really contrary to what's uh, needed for people who use drugs. Not only are the overdose incidents increasing, but drug contamination is also a concern. In the north in particular, we're noticing some increasing contamination of opioid drugs with uh, benzos, which are downer drugs. So we've noticed that it's, people are a lot harder to reverse their overdose. A lot more naloxone is needed. So I would just advise that people who use drugs get more naloxone than usual and might be prepared to use more naloxone than usual when reversing an overdose. Signs someone might be experiencing an overdose include being non-responsive, slow breathing or not breathing at all, making choking or gurgling noises, has blue lips or nails, small pupils and cold or clammy skin. Kling wants to encourage anyone in need of help to use harm reduction services available in their community. For CFTK-TV News, I'm Hillary Johnson.